So once you uh, get involved with them, if you can figure out who they are, um, that might be a specialized thing where some of us are shown who they are and are, are brought into the war. I mean, you're already in the war and you've already lost. Um, so that's that. Um, I mean, you're a slave, right? You, you jump through hoops all day long. Is that what you think you do? Uh, okay, well, that's called losing, my friend. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you're supporting the people who, uh, have been destroying people since time began. So, uh, I don't know how far back that goes, but I'd say it starts with birth, when they do their child mutilation sacrifice thing on you, so that's called, it starts at birth, right? Pretty simple there. But the whole rest of the thing going on here, um, <clears throat> looking back, understanding now that Technology is totally destroyed and manipulated by them by some unseen methods other than just simple backdoor software, I'm assuming. Uh, because even low-level electronics that don't have processing units uh, seem to be having certain issues and stuff. Like, uh, um, like I'm going to have to assume, you know, it starts at birth, as we have the proof of, because... They think their karma makes them have to show that you're a slave at birth, and that's why you're a slave. And, well, I mean, the people around you are the ones chopping you up for them and indoctrinating you to force you as a slave. And a lot of times those people might actually be them. I mean, let's look at COVID and everything that's happened since 2020, as long as we've had our eyes open and not been asleep 28 hours a day, we have probably all seen the demon possession of people around us and one ha only can have questions whether that was demon possession or not if they know the person for a while you know if you know someone for like years and they've been a demon since you knew them then they might have always been part of this group here on I'm obviously understanding that if I can summon clones of people and all this other fake stuff's going on in this world, then the whole birth thing itself seems pretty fake. I'm not sure how fake that gets in the game. Uh, I'm not sure how much they know about it being fake. But uh, I'm going to assume that they're creating clone races, so they know that part is uh, highly fake. And uh, uh, if I recall right, I know too much stuff that uh, babies always leave their parents for like a few hours to go to an incubator room. And I'm sure, I'm sure those words mean a lot if that happens during that time. I mean, to me, I'm seeing the real world and what it really is, which is nothing. Um, nothing real at all. So it, it gets confusing when I'm seeing, you know, the manipulation of reality versus the, the fact that that was never even part of reality. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you see, when you start seeing the world shift, when you start, like, asking the sky and the sun to move, and it does, you don't know if you just create, you might question if you just created that, who's, con if someone else is controlling that, because they hear you asking the questions and they're responding to it, or if you're actually doing that, and then it doesn't help when you got a, four, a third, fourth, fifth party coming up, and point into the sky, be like, do you see that, is, that the sky is different right now? And and that's like all they say, too. They don't say anything else. They don't say, hey, I know you was just uh, asking for the sky to start uh, answering questions and move around and the sun to disappear and things like that. And uh, I did. Or, hey, uh, you know, like, and we're just playing a game with you. You know, but what we do know is that can happen and does happen, and then uh, people come up to you and talk to you about it too. So, go figure um, what level of manipulation is that? Am I really supposed to accept like I'm the sky god or someone else is the sky god and convincing me of it, and uh, or talking to me through it anyways? Um, obviously, something like that's happening these situations right so the rest of the stuff you know there's there's only a few possible answers it could be but what we do know is the world is fake 
we and what we always know before we could even see the 2020 with 2020 vision we uh knew that the people were fake right if we can see and hear then it, i'm sure by the time other people were like one or two or four or six or twelve maybe the latest you already figured out that people were fake in fact they they coin phrases like that like it's literally like a <clears throat> a trendy phrase uh when i was growing up they was like oh that person's fake and all this stuff and and like you didn't really realize like when 2020 hit like that is more than just a cute little phrase you say to busters you know like yeah it's a buster like yeah it's a fake motherfucker uh no no literally i think the game's pointing something out here that uh there's a lot of fakery here and um it's just like 2020 vision it's one of those parables that's telling you something's going on here. And, uh, but yet, at the same time, you're just like, oh, it's a fake, it's a liar, they're lying about Santa. It's like, man, they're, they're fake. Like, they really can't figure it out and stuff. They can't stop doing it. <laughs> they're fake. And, <coughs> I, I wouldn't doubt. <coughs> when I was younger, I had people trying to point more things like this out to me, and I didn't understand it because 2020 hadn't hit. Technically, I was already solving it by 2020, but 2020 is when I'm like, ah, everyone should see this and see what's going on, and then magically, the whole world does all that stuff, and everyone gets, everyone who is, opens their eyes and goes outside or talks to anyone, sees everything. I mean, you watch the TV, I'm sure. I mean, do people, are there people out there who think TV is real? Probably, but, and, and you know what, in fact, like, you know, I, I try not to be too hard on people because I used to think some things on TV were real. Like, there used to be this thing called the news. Like, back when I was younger, there was this thing called the news on TV. I don't know if it's still there. There used to be papers delivered to your door, too, right? So but uh it's it's like fake and then and then they coined the term fake news like like you know the right wing it used to be you know like gangster talk to call people fake uh, you know just you know the youth talk and then like the old right wing picked it up and started calling it all fake news and stuff along with other groups and stuff and it's been literally it's fake news and then they would uh they would make little Things like, oh, it's, you know, Wolf Blitzer is in a, he's in a studio. Uh, he's not really in a war zone. It's a studio. And then they show you, it's it's still fake news, but they show you him in a studio and like, you can actually see the backdrop and the wind blowing and him like getting, you know, water spraying on him because it's hurricane, uh, hurricane USA hit in the Middle East or whatever. And um, they, they're like, oh, that's fake news. They're making up the news. And it's like, but that's that's not it. They're, these people are not in the studio making up stuff either. Now, can I go to a studio and people be there? Possibly. When I ask for music to appear, or when it just magically appears, like right that second, according to my life, according to what's going on in the world. And um, it just happens to line up like the lyrics right there in a song I've never even heard playing happens to line up with the question I'm about to ask right freaking now. That's not, you know, that's that's not a band. When the music is like brand new and appearing, that is like not a band making up music in a studio. That is being random on the spot generated. Okay, completely fake. The whole storyline surrounding that music is completely fake it's not that they're fake they're on stage faking that they're playing the music it's i don't think they're on stage i don't think there is a stage i think that's what it is really and uh because eh, there's no way like uh when 2020 started some of the first things i started noticing is people there are people around me who supposedly worked their whole life that was the reason they were gone most of, most of most of my life is because they had to go to work or something 
And then I, I learned, like, this person has no work ethic. Like, they don't understand what work is when I say I got to do work. But they were there to prevent me from doing work and stuff. A lot of fake stuff going on here. And um, <clears throat> so um, <coughs> we have all that happening. We've got, like, a storyline being set up here, obviously, and stuff. Because it's obviously, um... <coughs> Not a lucid dream, even though they call it a dream world. And I guess I'm a very good lucid dreamer, so I could probably make that feel real. But, um, there's been stuff set up in the fake world before, you know, I came here. Like, day one is the start of learning about the child sacrifice and mutilation that the gods do, the god people, Howard Stern and Powell. They're gods. How much time did God, did you know that? Like God, I guess God comes to earth, presses a homeless pe person so he can poison you. Ha uh ha. -huh. I mean, that's what they do. That's what the gods do. They come out here. You go to anti-war protests because they're over there killing people. And then uh, they, apparently they're setting up a fake anti-war protest. This is the second time I went to this place and nothing was there. Same exact spot. I couldn't find anything in the college. And then this time I end up being poisoned because a homeless person is that they're always using homeless people to bait me. And then they use their manipulative uh, emotional tactics and stalking, telling me how bad my life's going to be if I don't give everything I have to everyone who asks for it. You know, I'm literally like homeless myself. And they're like, well, if you, if you give the home, they come up to me and they appear out of nowhere and talk to me about my personal life. They say, if you give the homeless people everything you own, then uh, you'll get it back in the future. Oh, I'll get it back from you giving me some fake bullshit that doesn't work. Terrorizing my life. Huh? 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 <coughs> <coughs> oh, bro. <clears throat> the evil beings in this game are fucking off the charts, but, um... <coughs> cool thing is that I seem like pretty invincible in this game. I've been through a lot of shit. I've had the doors of jail open up and me walk out them. And uh, the devils got mad about that. So it wasn't the devils. It wasn't the devil people doing it. <clears throat> the devil people had to call up some of their other devil friends and notify them. And uh it's like, oh my god, how that happen? I don't know how that happened, motherfucker. <clears throat> how, how did I get a quarter of a million dollars to pay for that shit, too? Uh, a couple weeks before that happened. It's, it's almost like the real god here uh, just set up an entire scenario to erase a scumbag from the fucking earth and paid me to be around to watch the show, knowing that being there to watch the show, <clears throat> the scumbags were only mad, but <coughs> later also learning that the scumbags are already mad, I exist in the first place, and I have been up in my life forever, and parts of the story's line, we force the scumbags ourselves to write, say um, that they're going to do that, they're going to look for the person who works with the real God and all that, and they're also going to be manipulators claiming to be the real people, and uh, well, that, that identifies where which part of this storyline am I uh, deviating from, when am I, I'm pretty good at lying, I got this huge story made up here, don't I, like I, I can't even make up a lot, I can't even make an accident here, can I, so hard. The average person, like, hell, they're going to tell me they're lying before they lie. I don't know how that happens. <clears throat> Fake world. Um, but, um, that literally happens. And it's like me, I got this whole elaborate, lifelong, 400,000 hour long story. And it never changes, does it? A couple times I like to not say everything. And so, like, I'm talking about, like, in 40 years, there's been a couple times where I go back and 
I even had like a friend question me like I thought that story was different. It's like, yeah, dumbass, of course that story was different. I was in court, okay? The story of really you want me to fucking I should have I should have been honest. My lawyers wanted me to shit up. I wanted to be honest, so um I should have been. I wasn't false enough. Like I I was literally being trained. That's what I'm saying. It's so fake. I was given like a quarter of a million dollars to be trained to put through this shit to deal with these scumbags and their lies and manipulation and, and learn everything that's going on. Like, I mean, like being forced to the child mutilation, sacrifice stuff, being forced to the child drugging my whole life, being forced to the terrorist school, prison system, mind imprisonment system, being forced to be in the specific classroom that takes donations for their war, like literally, like they use a school to bring children in, to take the children's candy money and lunch money from them, to go kill people and steal land that they claim God gave them. Yeah, there's some other dude who's out here like waging war against them apparently, giving people a quarter of a million dollars to just get to witness the excitement of watching one of them disappear from the planet and stuff and and then get to deal with the excitement of watching everyone else who is one of them around them cry about it and and you know just turn into devils about shit and just I mean like the whole thing it's all like a little if I were to look at everything like it was set up in my life and there was like a direct link to one or two certain things, almost all of it, almost all of it has that link. Probably hundreds of thousands of things have one or two possible links, common links. And that's like, you know, those are high numbers. That's a lot. That's like saying <clears throat> every time I go outside, there's not a bundle of money and three automatic gas-powered shotguns playing out there. You know what? Last time I checked, there wasn't a bundle of money and three automatic shotguns laying outside anywhere I went. I could be lying. I don't know. Maybe your life's different and that happens a lot to you. But I'm saying for me, you line all those things up, you line hundreds of thousands of things up, and they have a possibility, if one thing were a certainty and a fact, they have a possibility of lining up with that every time. In line with the program, with everything else going on, being shown, being portrayed to me. <clears throat> and the puppeteering thing definitely really, really sorts things out. When you go to a place that has like a hundred or a thousand people and you're asking, you're running around screaming, what are you guys doing, what's going on? And magically they all choreography line up and do the God symbols and stuff as if they are no longer in control and someone else is in control of them who has that ability to control every single one on the planet and how many times does this happen when I go up and I speak to a human and I start talking to him about this shit because some days I'm just like yeah some days I'm pissed off before fucking 9 p.m. Uh, well it's probably every day uh, I mean some days I'm pissed off before you know 33 seconds into the, the first minute of the day and some days it takes about 45 seconds or only 12 yeah, train line. Uh, no, I, I think it's more like a millisecond or something. We're, we're dealing with milliseconds here. If we're actually going to be honest about that shit. But, uh, okay, so sometimes, you know, that, like, ac that accumulates over the day. By the end of the day, I'm like, I remember everything in the world. And we're back in reality land now. The real reality, you know, with the clones and the fake people and the terrorists and the druggers, the ones surrounding me, selling, destroying my life, trying to in many ways, yet here I stand and, well, God didn't bless the fallen. Let's just uh, keep the facts straight. So, God, God might have blessed some people with money to watch the fallen fall, just to train them telling you there's some links here and when 
trying to extract logic from certain things. There's some sort of logic here to things going on. It's not just blind, random chaos. It's, there might be puppeteers, and there might be puppets dancing around, but it, they're all doing the same thing. It's, they're not randomly outside being, being different and doing something unique. There's no one outside right now with the shotgun throwing C4 bricks in the air trying to shoot it and blow it up. You know? There's no random... There might be a couple people walking. One's got a jacket on. And they might be talking to each other. Not going to deviate at all. Not going to deviate at all. I mean, there is, like, the random thing. And then it... Uh, it allows the enemy to, like, send, like, a retard to act stupid. And in fact, like, I think God provided some people like that for, for beneficial purposes. Like, <clears throat> apparently some people were whining and crying about stuff in the world. And I can only imagine who that is, considering all the terrorism that goes on in my world that I have to face from the enemies God creates for me to battle. Um... You know, a little bit of whining about loud music. And God's just like, hey, let's ship a retard in there into the building. And he, all he does is scream all day. And I'm just like, this is the funniest thing ever, dude. I mean, because I love shit like that, right? You know, I love, like, autistic people and all that shit. Like, I remember I was at my friend's house. And they're, like, screaming at their children. And then I'm just, like, laughing my ass off. And I want to get up and start throwing everything with him, too. It's just so funny. And I mean, even before I knew, it's fun to watch these people get fucked. Um, yeah, so, rather literally, like, I'm pretty sure that actually happened. I'm pretty sure someone in the storyline here complained. I mean, probably because there's people in the storyline designed to attack me and shit. And, uh, how I, how did 9-11, and why did 9-11 happen? Someone complained. Someone complained to me and fucked my life up. Like, destroyed my life. Fucking. 9-11 happened a while after that. It was the same people. And looking back, I'm like, damn. Damn, that's odd. Like, I don't think there was. Was there actually any buildings at all that got blew up on 9-11? Technically, no, it's a fake world. If I didn't see it, it probably, the game probably didn't waste resources on it. You'd call me crazy, but I, when I see cities built around me, I, I kind of think that, like, wow, it's, this city is being built exactly to speak to me in the crazy year I'm having right now. Each year is a different form of unique, never seen before, too hot for TV moment. Almost. Some years I got to hide inside long enough for me to not remember if something happened. I also think some of those years were the years I was learning about computers and about how they're supposed to work right, but yet now I'm in some war where they mess up my tech and stuff like that. They can turn off the camera and make it so I can't record music videos and stuff like that. And of course, what else are they doing to my profiles online? You guys, uh, you guys, you guys remember when I posted the video showing you the picture of everyone who owns anything in USA and they're all the same race and they all look exactly the same? Yeah. Let's go through my friends list. Let's see who those people look like. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You guys think I'm uh, I'm accidentally telling you the secret before it uh, before you get to see it? Oh, I'm messing with you. I, it's a bunch of panda bears. I literally have panda bears subbing to my accounts. Oh yeah, uh huh. It's definitely not. It's definitely not the same people who have been separating me from other people in this world. It's definitely not them. And that's definitely not the people who I was paid to. Uh, watch die and watch them cry and wallow in their own blood they've drained from children. It's penises, apparently. It's probably what they like to wallow in the most, right? It's probably the equivalent of their shit. It's probably what they shit out. You eat something enough, you, uh, 
that is what comes out to, right? So, hey, I'm just trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be as accurate as I can so we can figure out this world. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, dude, that, so that's like how fake it is, okay? And um, there's obviously some shit set up here, but it really kind of pisses me off to, like, be, like, set up amongst the same people over and over, even if they are, like, supposed to be enemies who I get to laugh as they die someday, you know, I get to, like, sit right there next to them as the bullet flies to their head and be like, yeah, <laughs> you little bitch. Didn't see that coming, did you? I did. Like, and that's kind of, you know, if you, I mean, humans, humans are sick people and they tell you everything else is sick, right? Like, hmm. Like, they start off mutilating children's penises or, or vaginas, depending on which, which of their nation, which Abrahamic nation you're in. And uh, then they tell you that uh, you're a sick person because you, uh, you think uh, that Jesus said not to celebrate Chris, uh, Christmas, uh, or because you read that Jesus said not to celebrate Christmas in the Bible. Um, but you're sick for that, right? But there's nothing sick about them rounding you up, gang stalking you your whole life, drugging you, mutilating children's genitals. There's nothing sick about that. Nothing sick about drugging anyone. You know, who cares about children? Like, without adults, children won't exist. And they use this children, talking about children thing all the time. I'm just talking about it because that's when it starts. That's when they start it. And, and to them, a, a baby, a baby male's penis is worth more than gold. I mean, they own the gold mines. They can just print more money and put more, take more zeros into the dollar bill. They can... Just go bomb Russia or Ukraine or Germany or USA and, and take some money from them and, you know, money is worthless, but it's it's harder to obtain, obtain you know, those precious jewels of the children. They will those jewels of the children. I mean, hell, dude, they, they got this. That's so important to them. Like, they tell you money is something that you got to watch out for and worry about and all this. And they just tell you to celebrate the child mutilation and genital playing with and all that stuff. And you're like, yeah, yeah, celebrate it. Yeah, yeah. And the, the manipulation of their minds. Like, the, pretty much all the Goyam uh, holidays are about manipulating children's minds. Because it starts with the children, you know why? Because when they leave the Middle East, or whichever place they came from before they got kicked out of there and then ended up in the Middle East and getting kicked out of there and then they leave the Middle East. They left the Middle East, um, wherever they went, the only people they didn't kill was the children. So children are everything, right? And the Goyim are children. The Goyim once were only children at one point in time, you could say, because everyone else, except for maybe some women, were killed. And, uh... You know, like the, the children, uh, you better learn your lesson, because the uh, same thing's going to happen to you if you run your mouth and don't worship us. You, uh, you're going to end up like your father there. You remember what happened to him? No, you don't, because you've never seen your father. That's what's going to happen to you. And then you grow up, and, uh, well, then you're a half-breed, too, so you have to grow up, like, are there even any going? Uh, I suppose those are the people that they try to separate you from. Because, um, like, the half, the half reads, like, talk to me and stuff. And, and even, you can act friendly all day. I mean, the, the people who drug me act friendly, right? So, I already understand. I was born around friendly people. They mutilated me at birth and were playing with my genitals. And then, supposedly, they take that and they play with it and sell it. And they sell it to the stupid women who do it. This face cream, is that real? No doubt it is. They say, they also do that with the food supplies. They put babies in the amoebas and, yeah, whatever. They're pretty much mutant amoebas, right? In the food supply, placenta. Like, literally, like, I mean, that's what you're dealing with here, isn't it? Like, people who mutilate every child on the planet and then, uh, 
I mean, it, granted, most of the women in these nations probably are them, considering that they've destroyed all the families and mixed with them once they invaded the nation and slaughtered all the natives. Um, so, I mean, the women applying that baby penis face cream are them, uh, but if you're somehow not one of them, then, uh, I mean, how full circle retard is that to mutilate and play with your baby genitals for someone else who's charging you to do it? They charge you to do it, don't they? Oh my god. You know you're a, you know you can't even have a thought when someone is charging you to mutilate your children's genitals so they can take it and sell it in face cream. So you can smear it on your face. You can buy it back from them and smear it on your face. Hell, uh, you know, as many as there are, I, I just wonder, like, uh, like, obviously, like, do any of them know this? Like, that this is full circle what they do? I mean, I just know that they're, they're like crazy retarded people, right? Pretty much. So I don't know if they actually can think through a long process, like chopping a baby penis up, Mixing it with some moisturizing cream, putting it on a shelf, buying it, and applying it to their face. That's a lot of shit right there. You can pass kindergarten with knowledge like that. But the game doesn't allow that to happen. The game purposely blocks that. The game does. The game makes people fail school. And then it does a puppet possession, makes them dance, and makes them talk about my personal life when it's like, you know, trying to portray it as an evil demon alien, you know, to advance the storyline. And sometimes, um, the possession is, uh, is there to just advance the storyline and, like, notify me. I'm pretty sure, like, when the women do that, they're, like, trying to tell me, like, hey, like, you know, I'm your toy right now and stuff, but I'm, I pretty much don't accept anyone who does anything. game is don't really like it don't really like the game been trapped here too long not able to do anything i want and now they're fucking with my devices and, and it's like literally like we're setting the world up to be mass slaughtered because that's supposed to be the enjoyment of the game here yeah literally we couldn't do anything else we wanted to before that i just I mean, if that's the end game, if that really is the purpose of being here, to fucking find out you're in a demon world, and the purpose is to just flood the earth again, then, um, fucking flood it again. Like, let's get it over it, because, you know, obviously the other shit doesn't happen. I get my stupid robe, I get my stupid gunmetal gray for soft and soft blanky and... You know, I, I get those stupid things. That's just stupid stuff. Like asking for the extra cheese on my cheeseburger and stuff. Like, um, that's not a life goal. And my life goals are kind of rocked here. And, and, and last the life goal here is to be the master magician of the world who creates everything. And then you find out it's all fucked up. And you got to come back and fuck it up. Show it how to fuck things up. I show it. It can't. I should suck fucking things up because it doesn't know how to fuck things up properly. It can't do that as well as some others, so it shouldn't play those games. It shouldn't try to compete in that competition. Like, I mean, like, look at the rest of the shit the world's doing. Like, it leaves me with that taste in my mouth that that is it. It's like, uh, say, it offers, you know, the Abrahamic religions as mind enslavement, and then, um, then, like, it purposely, like, counters that shit, and, like, with the reality it chooses to, uh, allow to exist, and then, like, I mean, like, literally, they are the pedophiles, like, who the hell would ever side with them, but... You know, I'm talking more about how, like, you know, when you ask for, like, a partner and it just gives you, like, a single-serving friend instead. And, but you have sick, drug addict, mind, 
control pedophile cults who are trying to force you to stay with every single person you meet, even if you don't want to be around them at all. And that's their, that's how they do shit, too. Like, forcing people into your life. Especially when you ask for them never to be in your life again, and they just keep appearing and 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 keep appearing. It's like, literally, like, you just... The whole purpose here is to come here and find out that this devil, this human race was replaced by some sort of AI clone, devils or some shit. I mean, it is like written, and you know, some people have that question, like, why would you, why would, why would a god do that? It's like, well, why would, why would humans be pedophiles? Or why would humans try to? <clears throat> chop up and mutilate God when he's a baby and drug him and things like that. Like, anyway, why are humans, why are humans now asking questions when they never asked questions in kindergarten or any other year of their life and then 2020 hits and they've got a whole bunch of questions and stuff. I'm all for, it. raise your hand if you're for this, but if you failed kindergarten and all that stuff and magically you know a lot of shit now, Oh, all this shit now. I'm all for those people going back to, uh, going back to kindergarten until they can pass kindergarten and stuff. I'm challenging the AI here. I'm challenging the game itself. Because, uh, cause that would be beneficial if you could educate them. But it also tells me, it's like, well, you do realize what happens if we, uh, you know, place everything up here and you're supposedly this person... It'd be like playing a video game, and you turn all the opponents to uh, invincible, and you know they have more guns than you, more ammo than you, more more magic power than you. Like uh, like the game replies with that shit when I ask these questions and stuff, and it's like yeah, I, that's that's why I don't even attempt to do that anymore. I don't really attempt to educate anyone anymore because. Why? Like, other than this stuff, because it's, like, the plot line laid out, like, I'm not going to attempt to, like, I, I could sit down and invent new science stuff all day. Like, I have stuff, new stuff I've written, but it's a total waste. Why? 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 Who am I going to educate? Wait, are we going to have Elon Musk steal my ideas again and stuff? And have other people steal my ideas and shit? I would say I don't get paid for the stuff I create, but I do get, you know, I mean... The terrorism and the separation, like, there's a lot of payback. There's a lot of people who need their entire existence terrorized and separated from anyone they ever want to be around. And everything they've ever had and wanted and taken away and never come back to them working again because they just don't quit, do they? So, um... And then they got their little devil cults trying to tell you that it's God. You've got to like worship them, and then, 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 then. you gotta, you gotta. Literally, they're, they're like they're trying to send little soft pussies to talk to me about I'm God, and um, like you know they like they're trying to talk to me in that Christian spy language. You're like, oh, it's so beautiful, you're God, and blah blah blah. But really, what they're saying is. You know, you're supposed to be a pin cushion. You're supposed to come here and let everyone take everything out on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell these Christians are devils because of that shit. Like, it, like, I mean, if you're in my shoes, that's real easy to see because you have them coming up to you using black magic on you, fucking telling you to worship them. <laughs> telling you you're God and to worship them. And it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, this story is fucking crazy, but it, it's really not, like, different than what's actually written is going to happen. Like, the whole mind, everyone's mind turned on them. That shit happened. There was no fairy tale. 2020 existed. They don't even remember it. They don't even remember it. That's how deeply their minds were fucking just... Psh See you later, birdie. They don't even remember it, dude. But, like, like I, and I, you know, I was never one, like, to be in denial when people said shit, but I never, like, seen dragons flying around and dinosaurs and 
you know, space unless it was in between people's head, ears and stuff. But then it, it happened. It just psh, mine against one another. And then, like, why it happened? It's like they were doing it to everyone already. They were already doing it to everyone, but now they're, like, just doing it in the open. And I asked for it all to be in the open, and then they start drugging each other and enslaving each other in the open and stuff. It's like, wow, mind blown. They, they can actually, that can actually happen to them and stuff. It's like, how does that happen? Like, just... Psh, all of a sudden, it, it's not like... It's not like watching TV did anything to them. I mean, really? Everyone watches TV? I mean, I, I guess I did have friends. Like, it's like, you watch TV? It's like, dude, we're like fucking... 16, what the hell is wrong with you? He's like, I, I'm like, how did you know I was in jail to come see me? He's like, because I was, I was watching TV this morning. You were watching, dude, you're 18. He, I mean, and if you knew me, you know, we don't, we're not TV watching, news watching people. I mean, we're kids and doing a whole bunch of stuff we're not going to talk about in this video because scare people off and they probably wouldn't people didn't used to believe things uh, these days of people seem to believe everything i say well i should be careful about claiming stuff that i'm not actually doing and if it's the new world order being set up like if i if i can if i say new world order come out and do your little show and dance let's get this show on the road not me doing it now, is it? It's the New World Order. If the New World Order gets on the TV and says something, it's not me. That's the New World Order. If the New World Order comes on TV, says anything. If any of those people on TV say and do anything, it's not me. I'm not mind controlling them to do it. I would have mind if I was mind controlling them, they would have jumped off cliffs and took the fucking injections themselves. They didn't do that. They didn't jump off a cliff yet. Yeah? None of them have jumped off a cliff yet. Yeah? That's them. That's the storyline. That's how it's written. That's how it has to play out. And all puppeteering. I don't see why I have to explain that. It, <clears throat> it talks to me. When it possesses humans, it talks to me. It's like you... It, it, it thinks I care sometimes. Obviously, it, it talks to me using the enemy sometimes. But, uh... It's like, you know, why? Why? Why people aren't seeing your stuff these days? And it's like, yeah, because they pissed me off in 2020. Yeah, you, you know why they pissed me off, bro? You remember that? You remember them pissing me off and taking my life from me? You remember them drugging me my whole life? You remember them selling me a whole bunch of faulty technology and trying to make it so I can't go on the internet? You remember them claiming we're all in it together? All in unison, as if they actually had control of their brains, and they knew that they were all working together. And obviously at that point in time, it's the devil, it's the game puppeteering the devil to speak to me. You know, I don't think it's much different than that, because it just sends them to die and stuff, and it's like, well, and they'll send them to laugh at me like a Joey kid. <clears throat> he came and laughed at me, and then he died a few minutes later and stuff, and it's like, well, that was a smart move there, fucking Mr. Albert Einstein's daughter. Man. It's hard to sort the shit out sometimes, because it's just like, me and the real thing, and the real thing, like, um... Puppeteers the, the people to be devils. In order so you can have fun running them over with cars and shit like that, and it's like... It was actually, like, a little more fun when I didn't notice it. But, uh, I guess that's... Uh, that's my right of passage to ask to see... Have 2020 vision and, um, be given it. I didn't know that. There was a lot of shit I didn't know that could happen. And, um, a lot of shit I still don't believe can and does. And, um... They tell me the belief has something to do with it. It's like, come on, you guys are the devils. It's obviously just letting the NPC run around with its brain running its mouth to make it shit. Because it wouldn't be like <clears throat> my good, a good partner doing the um, 
you know, destroying my life and shit. It's obviously setting people up to fall like dominoes and shit. And, uh, so I, I just assume, unless I push it, that the devil's talking to me and shit, because, I mean, if it possesses anyone, I've already, I've already had my, my talks with it, that everything that becomes possessed is scheduled for termination, and, um, that's that, so, you know, it's been on notice for a while not to possess good people to make them act like stupid humans and, you know, like humans, like non-player characters or something, just go about their basic scripted dialogue, maybe make them a little better than the single-serving ones, and so I'm more interested in them than just looking at them for a couple seconds and things like that, and I think I understood that somewhere around 20... 16 when it started sending people my way who like you know rule the world stuff like that so we have things to talk about <clears throat> rather than just sex and then go to the other room and um, uh, then fucking annoy me so I'm supposed to leave him like it should have dropped me that line a long time ago that the reason why certain people are doing certain things is because they were only there for a couple hours of fun, and, and you should be telling them it's time to go, and stuff like that, but, uh, it, you, it allowed the, human, the Christians to do the little beating thing, it allowed the females and the Christians to do the little beating thing, and apparently it's like, you know, that's like kind of part of the story there, is it, is it scheduling for the females to go back to where they, whence they came from? Uh, you know, there's all that, that whole, I mean, it's like in the story there, right? That it was originally one way, and then the devil's gonna come and change it, and, and then they're like, I guess they allowed them to beat it into their children, and that's how it got changed and stuff, and then now, like, you can see there's like a, a large, like, a large backflow that's, uh, just... Just had the gate open, I suppose. That's a large fucking backflow to have the gate open on. There's gonna be some shit going on there. And, uh, be on the lookout for that one. Although, there's not gonna be much to be on the lookout for, I don't think so, except for, like, the wars and stuff. So, uh, you know, getting the show on the road, what has been planned. Um, I think we have to go there. Uh, it allowed the, the devils to do their um, non-presidential uh, run thing and destroy my life and take everything from me so I couldn't do that. So uh, it's like forcing that. Um, but I think at the same time it's trying to like force me to learn to enjoy things like that. So I'm trying to uh, do that as well. Uh, I mean I think it's been doing that my whole life and Stuff I've been involved in anyways, pretty much war zones and he waging war against fucking the society who needed it, so now it's just lots of people waging wars against societies who need it apparently and something that had to go that route I guess. Um, Cause I tried to change that, so um, visual novel game. Pretty sure that's all our this because uh, the the gaming elements are very limited. Personally, like I think it's I think that's for females. It's kind of like a Barbie horse adventure game to play a visual novel that lasts like eight hundred thousand hours long, and, and literally it's the same thing over and over for most of the eight hundred thousand hours, like. Uh, like the dialogue choices didn't even change like for, during the during the um, the revealing during 2020 like dialogue choices barely even changed all they did was add a few new words to people's uh, dialogue like uh, put your mask on and then that was removed and now it's right back to where it was before 
mean, these days, there's not even people out there like, oh my god, dude, why, what's going to happen when Russia gets here? What's going to happen when China gets here? I mean, like, there's like, it's like the TV is like, I don't know what they're telling you guys, but I mean, it's obvious to me, it's what's been said is going to happen for 40 years, for thousands of years, but 40 years, I knew what was happening today, and it started 40 years ago. And before that, even, um, like, it's like it doesn't even allow them the dialogue choice to be like, dude, like, they're like, what's up with that? Like, I mean, I guess if anyone, if it allowed them to have dialogue choice like that, it'd be freaking out and all the toilet paper would magically disappear from the shelves. That's the thing I asked for, too. I kept saying that for like years before that happened. You guys want to know where the toilet paper went to? No one was buying it. I never seen anyone in the store with toilet paper. It was just being taken fake world. It was just being taken out of the out of the shelves. Like you don't buy the game. Like if I turn on my game here and there's not another player playing it. He's just not there. Where's he at? Who knows? Who cares? If it, if the bullets in the in the gun aren't even in the gun in the game. There is no bullets. It's just a game. And it can. It, the programmer can decide to remove it any time. That's what happened to the, the toilet paper and stuff in the game, in, in the Earth game. And it just removed it because I was saying for years, better stock up on tissues and diapers and shit. Fucking. <laughs> and it really did that. Like, like because part of the, the revealing in 2020 was showing that shit to me and stuff. It, like, hey, look, like, certain things you're saying are, are happening in this world, but, but at the same time, learning that, I also seen that there's tons of other shit I say that don't have, but I can say, stock up on tissues and diapers, and it magically disappears off the shelves and vanishes into nowhere. But then I ask for certain things in my life, I don't never fucking happened over decades and shit. Never touched a real drum set. What? I have like seven things I've asked for in life, pretty much, that matter, and none of them happen. I saw it there. That part is the real odd fucking thing. Although I got offered some female metal heads recently, but they got dark hair, and at this point in time, I don't trust anyone who looks anything like those people. So, I mean, technically I had more than two. But the one, the fishy one, was uh, the one who, uh, who who talked to me, told me to come over and kiss her, and then, then I was trying to talk to her, and I was gonna get her information, exchange her information, because I didn't want to have sex with her out there in front of everyone else. It makes sense to me. And then she's like, I don't speak English. I went down too that yeah, that really is what goes on. I mean, how do I summon clones and shit? Where, where did it, where is it mine? It's mine built. By its parents? Did I summon its parents 40 years ago? How did I summon it today? It had parents 40 years ago. It gets confusing like that, but um, maybe we can fix these other things. I guess we still get to do all the fun shit since I don't get to be president until after the war. Um, I don't get to be world leader until after the war. <sighs> kind of fucked up not knowing the complete rules here, but uh, I'm still alone. I do know that part. And uh, so, I just assume the game wants nothing but war. Uh, that's probably the purpose of it here at this point in time. Just all out slaughter, cleaning up the planet. It's just a job. It's like mopping the floor. That's what humans think they do is mop floors. I just have a bigger mop and a bigger floor. That kind of sucks because I don't like jobs. I mean, like, I do. I work harder than anyone every time I fucking touch anything. I'm very insulted by some of that shit. Um, but, uh, no one I've ever met 
His fucking body is completely fucking covered in bandages and shit and ripped the fuck open. And covered in bandages so they can heal fucking faster and do it again. None of that shit. Really. There are a couple guys out there I've seen doing something on the screen and shit. But I mean, I guess I did technically go to buildings full of people who were having their bones broken and shit, like, the first 30 seconds they hit the mat and stuff, so, yeah, I mean, but, come on, man, no one's doing it, and then, and then like, I, they prevent me from doing it, too, but, uh, I think that's funny, too, because that's, like, more of the god shit, if you ask me, like, preventing me from doing shit, like, I'm making these stupid videos talking, and I fucking, I definitely want to slaughter people for fucking relegating me to doing Rather than making a video of me playing music because they fucking have sold me faulty gear. Definitely, the game's setting me up to want to slaughter these fuckers and give me good intent and purpose my whole life to do it. Like the Joey bitch who died, like, they gave and made him fucking, you know, they, they wouldn't allow him to stop attacking me until he was sent to hell and shit, literally. It wouldn't allow him to stop a tie. He couldn't figure out that the reason he's not hurting me when he hits me is because he's not going to be able to fucking hurt me and shit. He couldn't figure it out. He did just fucking NPC. Beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, oh my god, dude, come on, man. Starbucks is going to open you a little queer. But don't you need to get a latte or something? And quick for love. Beep, 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 oh, you're a crip, oh, hold up, here, right, I, I'm a little weaker here, you should hit here, that's where the, that's where the bone connects, if you can, you can dislocate it if you hit it right, right angle, here, i help you, and he's like, beep, 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 and it's like, dude, what the hell are you doing, hey, you, you, bro, I, I don't like, you know, like, I don't like ma making fun of or hurting mentally retarded people, dude. What are you doing? Beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get in my car and drive off. And then he's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm coming with you. And I'm like, you are a fucking retard, dude. Now you're Teen Wolf. Now you're goddamn Michael J. Fox. And now, now, like, he really is a retard, because he's, he's Michael J. Fox, he's got a fucking MS, and he's like, hey, I'm, I'm, like, on my car, hanging on, like, he's Teen Wolf, and I'm like, and then later in life, I learned what was actually happening that day, a motherfucking clone was just being sent to be disposed of, and shit, and I was paid in advance to do it, and I was being taught a whole fucking lesson about certain groups and what they've been up to in my fucking life and in the world at large and in everyone's fucking thing. But, like, it's gonna piss me off sometimes to have to be involved with the beep beepers. Um, like, literally, and I know the game is pushing it. Like, the game is not allowing anything else because it wants it to happen. And it forces it to happen. You know, like, when someone's sitting there beep beeping all day and then you drive off and they just jump on your car like Teen Wolf, they're not going to stop until you beep beep them back and shit. Or unless God magically intervenes and beep beeps them and then you're still, like, right there, like, beside a corpse. And the cops are like, well, we got to take you in because... They're gonna want to know what happened and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I know, dude. That's why I called you and stuff, because it's probably gonna fucking someone's gonna freak out. Obviously not you. It was just the prosecutor. Obviously the cops didn't. The cops are fucking probably about to give me a medal of honor or something. Shit, the prosecutor, run up, Brian. That dude needs brought his people. His people, dude. I'm telling you, we got a list here of people who are gonna be facing the first tribunals and shit. I've got a list here. We're gonna be fucking extracting information. I'm not even sure if we can extract information from the NPC, but we're going to. However, we'll make them confess to something. Some sort of involvement. How uh, the demon-possessed ones, like... Um, that's gonna be hard. 
because, like, during the tribunals and shit, like, I'm not going to be listening. I'm not going to be having this. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, you're going to get to say that two times. Three strikes and you're out and shit during the tribunals and shit. If they even get that far, I don't think we're going to have tribunals. You can't tribunal a billion plus people. I ain't got time for that shit. Ain't no one got time for the fucking tribunal beat beepers and shit. What the hell? That's, the, the story's not even written. They're gonna be put in tribunals. Fucking lake of fire and shit. But, oh well, I mean, it is what it is. I gotta deal with it. How I'm allowed the cards to be dealt to me. And they're allowing the beep beepers to piss me off and manipulate my whole life and invade me and separate me from the human races and um, play the little games, make sure I can't do anything at all in life, can't work a job, can't um, can't make music videos, they, they fuck, can't record them burning down cities. That's probably what pissed them off the most. That's probably why things went real south in 2020 was uh, someone was recording them doing everything they were doing right. So, I mean, that is, like, uh, that, that's what makes me so different there in their mind. Is, I mean, some of them call me God, though. Do they even believe that shit, or do they just say that because they think they're manipulating people and they want me to play the puppet on the stage, or... How would I play the... That's good puppet. So God comes in and kills you. And he kills the people manipulating the whole world. And fucking deceiving them. Great. I'll play that puppet all day. When do I get to talk to the humans instead of them? So I can uh, tell the humans about it more. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta keep destroying my life. And preventing me from being around living beings. Because, uh... Because that's your job, as evil NPC, or because you you legit worry about that, or... See what I'm saying? It's not that fun. Like, this, literally, like, is that hard? Is that so hard to ask to have been able to play drums my whole life? And they're such homosexuals that they wouldn't need, they wouldn't have been to play flute and stuff, and I was like, okay, that's how pedophile, these child rapists, Abrahamic people, their races, um, like, they were trying to force that shit on me, and I bet you that's got a lot of reason to do with why I don't play drums, and they tried to force stuff like that on me, because it's part of the storyline, and it's part of the build-up, and the foreshadowing, to just how fucking sick pedophilic, uh, man-loving man, these degenerates are. Boy loving boy. I definitely don't think it, don't think God designed most of them to look like men except for the ones on massive doses of stereo steroids, did he? Interesting there, isn't it? I don't think they live longer than other people either. It actually makes them sick and ill to uh not have testosterone in their bodies. They say it's the opposite, but then they say that they are the highest affected. I think that's the reason, one of the reasons why COVID had to happen, the face mask, because they needed protection from it. Or their people could have suffered some real consequences. And, but at the same time, they're the ones putting it out there too, now aren't they? They are Fauci, they are Bill Gates. It's easy to look at them. I mean, they're cursed to look a certain way that's how easy it's supposed to see, and then they use their media to tell you something different, and tell you looks don't matter. Yeah, well, I'm sure, you know, God created tigers to look beautiful and mosquitoes to look like trash because he just, he was just being lazy in the looks department. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Hopefully some of these things I have a problem with get answered. I mean, that would suck if I just come here and I, my only option to make all this end without doing what needs to be done is uh, killing myself. 
and, and I have to torture myself to escape the torture they put me through. I have to torture myself for years to be able to escape their torture. Just like I have to drug myself to escape them and the, and the memories that they drug. They force drugs on me and I go to, I go to the mountains to avoid them because they talk about dumb shit like going to the mountains. Although they're not out of the mountains, they're at home watching TV. When I get out there, there's a whole bunch of people I've never met before out there at the mountains and shit. But, uh, definitely not the people who always would, like, weird me out talking about that stuff and shit. Weird ass shit. Like, I get to be forced to do a whole bunch of shit I don't want to do. Like, I'm trained to be some sort of survival warrior. Like, entirely against my wishes. Entirely against my wishes. I, just, I would rather just sit around and fucking write journals of new inventions and build fucking, you know, it's all fake and shit, though, so it's not really inventing the world and stuff. But, hey, it, it could have fucking solved a lot of problems to do that, but now then the game sets it up. Now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to send these pedophile Abrahamics to drug you, piss you off in school repeatedly over and over, and just mess with you constantly and shit until you get the balls to stand up and walk out. Um, so, no books for you, son. Besides, you read way faster than they do, and you already read like 20, 30 books a week, so you need to get out of there. So, you know, that's one way to do it, just fuck everything up. That way I don't go to school instead of just like letting me leave. I guess it's more fun that way. It really is. Like that, I always thought that was silly when they talked about putting me in advanced grades and they really were purposely like fucking me off and stuff. You know, they were separating me from the other human races when they did that. Once I caught on to them doing that, and we, we caught them red-handed several times, doing that just in one month several times. Once I did that, it put it all together and shit that that was happening. But hey, I guess it's part of the storyline, and hey, that's going to happen. Like, uh, I, I want motherfuckers to, to feel that shit, like, because... Those weren't the best feelings in the world, and then knowing that it was being done on purpose, really just fucked everything up, but whatever. And if you want to be a dumb NPC doing what the fucking game tells you to do, and fucking, you can, you can fucking pay the price of a dumb NPC doing what the fucking game tells you to do, and shit. I tried to talk to people, and shit. I tried to fucking tell them to calm the fuck down, and try to have people telling me God, and me, me telling them, like, well, maybe you should fucking think about what you're doing, if you're gonna fucking speak to me like that, and shit. And it's like, well, phew. Well, you see, you've known I'm God my entire life, and then, or half of it, you've known me how long, and you know I'm God, and you're, you're about to throw all my clothing away, you're about to fucking, wait, if I don't go do drugs with you, you're gonna do what to God? Yeah, I didn't do that, and if I'm God, just stop fucking crying, just stop fucking crying. Tell your family to shut the fuck up in advance and shit, because they're going to be on the news crying and shit one day soon. Fucking. Anyways, I'm going to have to assume all this shit was set up for a good reason, because, like, I mean, wow, like, the exits out of it and everything, like, crazy, crazy. I mean, there's some crazy shit I'm not talking about. They talk about, like, me walking out of jail and stuff like that, and... The devils all, all were pissed about that. Fucking, um, I mean, that was on too. That signified me that there was people in my life who were, who were those races, and uh, hate me with a passion, but were like there to like enslave me and hold me down when they were there. Like I said, some of these people were like, they're trying to be my best friends, using drugs with me, and then. Second, I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the gym. I can't sit around and use drugs all day, every day, all day long. And then they throw everything I own away. 
because I won't go use their free drugs with my friend, the Star David people. The special people, the Abrahamics, God's chosen druggies. They're so special. I do like drugs. Drugs are great. But what I hate more is, uh, apparently I'm supposed to hate this group. I don't hate them. I just, it's a job. Do you hate do you hate dirt on the floor when you mop the floor? It's a job. Mopping the floor is a job. It's just something that has to be done, apparently. Or it doesn't stop. Like it, And I don't think it allows it to like, go to the point that it, you know, continues. So I don't even think I have a choice in that department. I can probably just sit back and let them do their thing to me over and over until some invading armies come and wipe them out. And then they're gone. Like, they're... They can be beep, beep me in the face for like 18 years straight and then here in about three, four years, like most of their nations are going to be gone and stuff. Uh, they're going to be running and crying and instead of beep, beeping, somebody's going to come up with a sword and beep, beep them or something, the butt of a rifle. Pretty sure that's what we're going to have to live through here. We got to, the biggest, the biggest we're telling Besides the puppeteering of the humans, is um, the simple the fact that my life is so fucking crazy and so extreme, so fictional, make believe, fairy tale, fantasy land. Okay, my last girlfriend worked with Donald Trump, and in Hollywood. Okay, she took me around town, meeting famous people no one even knew lived this state and to their houses and their garages hanging out in their garages with them and then took me to fucking parties with like the richest people in the city and stuff like that was just a girl they threw at me in like 2018 it, it, it didn't seem that out of place to me I had already lived some sort of unicorn lifestyle and stuff it wasn't out of place at all the only thing out of place was when you take up for the beep beepers in any way shape or form or talk about them or have one of them around you well i might assume that you're another person that would poison me and then then that is being around her is when my heart problems start happening and then working with the government is also like a weird thing because some people in the government might be the be well in fact, the government is entirely bee beepers telling me i'm not allowed to be government because i'm god yeah. they just throw your life away and we're going to treat you like trash but you're god <laughs> boy that would be a bad fucking curse for them if they were right about that fucking and then they're just Fucking up everything I own, trying to sell me trash, destroy my life, and enslave me. I mean, they're literally writing the fucking, the fucking handbook for what should be done to them. I, hell, I'm not even being uh, original. All the stuff I've got written about what the tr comes after the tribunals, which probably don't happen because if it happens the way it says it happens, it's going to be just like lava coating the earth and stuff um i don't think there's going to be court too many court buildings left to have tribunals in i don't think i'm going to waste any time doing that shit that's not going to be fun i'll sit back like judge stewart during my case and just fucking like read a book and stuff instead of paying attention to the trials or something take a nap Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, and then he died. Oh, case dismissed. Your Honor, we just started. Okay, okay, okay guys. Uh, um, yo, yeah. well, what'd she do? It's a he. It's a he. Are you sure these days? <laughs> it's a beep beeper. Are you sure? Have you checked it? Have you checked it? Have you pulled its pants down? Has it pulled its pants down and tried to show you? Well, yes, it did. That's why we know. That's why we know it has a penis. Okay, I was going to say, we got the wrong person here if they didn't pull your pants down and tried to show you who they were. 
tried to show you their genitals.